Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, this is for Hip Hip Renee's, I don't know if it's a new series actually, but her series called Hip Hip Furnish. Um, she built this shell of a house. I think it's a base game suburban shell. I think that's what it's called. Um, I was watching her video where she created it and she mentioned that, actually what's funny is that I'm actually watching that video as I'm furnishing this house. Um, she posted about it on Twitter and I thought, oh, I really want to do that. And what's funny is that I've already got, I'm leaving for my vacation tomorrow and I've already got all my videos uploaded up until July 29th and today is only the 5th. So I didn't really even have any room on my <clears throat> schedule to do another video, but I'm going to do a double upload on July 26th because I really wanted to do this and it looked like a lot of fun. So I watched her um, YouTube video where she was building it as I furnished it. And um, yeah, she said that you can actually download the house um, if all you have is the base game, it's just a base game suburban shell. Um, the rules are you cannot use custom content um, if you want her to tour the house because she doesn't download custom content, uh, which I understand and neither do I. Um, and you can use any of the packs you want. You can change the layout and the colors, but you can't change the exterior walls, doors, or windows, um, which I, I was fine with because honestly none of the windows really bothered me. A lot of the time when I do challenges like this, the placement of windows and doors can kind of be annoying and you wish so bad you could change them, but I actually kind of loved it. It went pretty, <clears throat> I think it went pretty well. Um, so I started at the kitchen at the back of the house. I kind of thought of this house as being kind of like a heritage home, so an older house that's been um, sort of updated but also has a few um, little original um, quirks, I guess. It's still got its original charm, I guess you could say. Um, I played around with the, um, what do I call it, wallpaper? I don't even know. The backsplash, the tile, I guess, of the kitchen a few times. Um, looking at that one, I actually don't mind it so much, but I do believe I changed it to just plain white submarine tiles. I wanted this kitchen to be very, very white, and um, I think I think I accomplished that. It turns out to be extremely white, but I think it's really cute. I love the idea of the stairs being at the back of the house. I don't normally do that. Um, so this is a bit of a different layout for me and I really enjoyed it. I, uh, it was just kind of nice to sit back and not have to build a house, just furnish it and not worry about anything on the outside. I did really enjoy that. So I used this tile that came with the vampire pack because I thought it suited the build really well and I don't use it enough. It just to me looks older but I thought this house could pull it off pretty well so I did place it there. There's like a little coffee machine which I like. There's little pops of blue in the kitchen. Um, my biggest struggle with this house was trying to keep a consistent theme. And then halfway through, not even halfway, <laughs> just after I did the dining room, I kind of decided that um, it didn't matter if not everything flowed because that's not realistic. Um, not everybody's house sort of matches and flows really nicely because first of all it's expensive to interior decorate, it's expensive to hire someone to do it, and not everyone can accomplish that. So I just kind of thought I want this house to look like a realistic family lives here. Um, so I pictured this house being for two parents, um, a toddler girl and a uh, little boy. And so I just kind of thought like they don't have a ton of money to redo their house so they just sort of um, did what they could with the space that they had. But yes, each room has a bit of a different uh, look to it. And the dining room I think I changed like three times because I just couldn't decide what I wanted and it, for me it was very unnatural to have a house that didn't flow where every room was like the same color or the same theme. Um, that just didn't seem right to me, but I eventually got used to it and I do like the way that it turns out. I haven't taken the screenshots yet, but I'm about to do that after I'm done recording this voiceover and then I can kind of check it out and see how it looks, but um, I'm still pretty happy with it and to me it does feel like a realistic home and um, it was just fun to sit back and relax and just kind of do one of these um, furnishing challenges because I don't do them enough and I really enjoy them. Um, I, if you don't know who Hip Hip Renee is, I'm sure you already do. Um, you should definitely check out her channel though. I'm going to link that in the description. Um, she is one of my uh, Simmer YouTube friends and she does some amazing builds on her channel. I always, I never miss her videos. I'm always watching them. And um, yeah, she just, and her voiceovers are really good as well. So yeah, definitely um, check her out. And I think what she's going to be doing is touring the houses. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be like a YouTube video, I don't actually know, but she did say she was going to tour the houses and the last tour would be on July 26th, so I'm going to post that 
um, probably on July 26, which is, I'm gonna assume it's today. Might do it the day before, but um, yeah, hopefully she will tour it, hopefully she'll like it. Um, the living room was a big struggle for me. I liked the idea of using the purple couch, but it just wasn't matching anything else, and I changed the wallpaper in the living room like three or four times. Um, I was going for the Heritage Home charm, but at the same time trying to make it look a little bit, um, not modern, but I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> I, realistic was what I was going for. I wanted this to look like a real house. Um, and I changed the dining room there as well. But looking at it from this view where you see all the rooms, you're like, eh, that doesn't flow. It doesn't match. And I get that, but just, um, I don't know. I'm just try I'm trying to come out of that way of thinking and just trying to be okay with things looking more realistic because not every house matches and flows just perfectly. Um, and some rooms are nicer than others. Some are updated, some are renovated. Um, and yeah, not everyone can afford to do those things all at once. So that's, that's what I'm going with. Um, and I do end up changing the wallpaper in this room to like a deep purple to match the couch. And I used the, um, what is that even called? It's like a music player that came with Get Famous and uh, there's like a little shelf in there and the curtains were the hard part. I couldn't find anything to match. I wanted purple ones to match the couch but I couldn't find any. Uh, and then I just put a couple of pictures on the wall and that's really it for the living room. Um, we were allowed to change the placement of doors within the house so I did do that. Um, I didn't change any exterior ones though but for a couple of doors I did have to play around with them a bit just because they were not working the way that I wanted to. Um, and then here in this little foyer, I just put like a little um, wall hanging, or not wall hanging, like a coat hat, coat, wow, coat rack, <laughs> coat hat, um, coat rack there and a table with some decor items on it. And that's pretty much it for that little foyer. And then, um, you know what I'm actually thinking is right where that mirror and table is at the foyer, that'd be a good place for another archway because it would open up to the stairs and the kitchen. I should have done that. Cause then you could go up the stairs right when you walk in the, yeah, I should have done that. I'm looking, I'm just thinking of that now, but I maybe mean, it's too late, but still that would have been a good idea. Um, so this is what I'm calling the master bedroom. It's pretty small, but, um, it still, it still works. It's, you can put everything you need in there. Um, and I did went with the purple theme again. And then there's those double doors that lead into a room and then a double archway that leads into another little room. I'm not sure what Renee was going for there. Um, not a mind reader, but I'm thinking it was probably meant for a bathroom in a closet. That's my guess. And um, this was another bathroom I did as well. The windows upstairs were a little difficult to work with, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this room here, I was struggling a little. I do end up working it out, but yeah, I just didn't know where, I didn't want anything to block the window. That always bothers me, especially when it's like an appliance, like a toilet. You would never put a toilet in front of a window. So it was a little hard. I had to do some finagling, but it came together pretty well. Um, it's a pretty small bathroom, but it's got everything you need in there. Uh, and then the bathroom that comes off the bedroom there, oh my god, I struggle with this. At this point, I am cursing Renee because I couldn't figure out how to put everything I wanted in this little space. There's two windows there that don't work. There's this weird angle. There's a double archway. There's a double door. Everything was standing in my way, and I was getting so angry with it. And I think eventually I turned that into a single archway and then move it over. And you just see me going back and forth, back and forth, like figuring out how to, tr how to approach this. Um, and then I thought, could I put the shower in here? Nope, that's not the answer. Um, <laughs> watching myself struggle is actually pretty entertaining. I did end up taking the double doors out, even though I liked them a lot, I did take them out and put in a single door. And then everything fit except a shower. There's no shower, just a tub. But again, it's like an older house and yeah, they just don't have a shower there. There's a shower in the in the other bathroom, so that's good enough. Um, then I end up actually really liking that bathroom after I cursed it for so long. And then this I thought could be like a closet because there wasn't enough room for a dresser in their bedroom. So I just did these like hanging shelves with the clothes and then a little table there and some mirrors. And that's pretty much it. I think I put like a painting there just to kind of fill it up. And that's pretty much it. I do like the walk-in closet idea. Um, it's perfect for a house that has smaller bedrooms and not enough space for a dresser. And then upstairs, um, I just did this little room on the left. I did as a little toddler room, I think it was, yeah, for a girl. And just filled it up with a bunch of pink stuff. Toddler rooms are pretty easy to do, I think, because we've got everything we need. You just start filling it up and it's gonna look good. It's gonna look like a toddler's room. Um, so I just put a lot of pink stuff in there and that was pretty much it for that 
room and then the bedroom over next to it I thought could be a little boys room so I used a lot of blues and I think I went for the wallpaper that has like the sports equipment on it yeah like the basketball and stuff I thought that was kind of cute and yeah that is pretty much it for his bedroom I mean I just kind of filled it up with as much as I could I don't struggle with kids rooms very much they're pretty easy you have everything you need you just start throwing them down they're gonna look good um, kids rooms are, are pretty simple to do and then I didn't really do anything with the backyard I thought it was perfect the way it was I liked the, the car that was out there um, it's like a barbecue and table and chairs I didn't touch the outside at all it didn't need it it was perfect and I liked the way it looked and so I just filled up the hallway with a couple of paintings and I think a mirror maybe and a couple of plants just so it doesn't look like I forgot about it and that is pretty much it for this furnish if you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe and don't forget to check out hip hip Renee's um, channel and her video as well where she tours the builds thanks so much for watching